to make that simple plan, I'm going to create a new document. So create new. And I'm going to use A4. You can use letter sides if you prefer. And I'm going to use the um, landscape and uh, just leave everything else as it is and create. All right, so we have uh, our um, board here to create the planner and uh, we will need a rectangle. So you can either go to the icon here, rectangle tool, or you can press M on your keyboard. And I'm going to start from around here and make a rectangle and uh, I give it a, a thinner stroke and then we want to, with the rectangle selected, we want to go to Object, Path and Split into Grid and we can put a preview here so the rows I usually put 5 and the columns will be 7 for the 7 days of the week and uh, OK, so that will give you enough spaces for the days and now we need to add uh, the text here for the days of the week. So I'm going to go to either you can click here on the type tool or you can uh, uh, type T on the keyboard and then click once and you can add the, the name of the day. OK, so I start with Wednesday because, well, there is a, a reason why, because Wednesday is the day that takes the most space uh, is the widest text and uh, to do this uh, next thing that I want to do we want to use the widest uh, text uh, so I'm, I'm not just going crazy and start with Wednesday <laughs> the week uh, so one thing that we need to do is to check that this text is actually in uh, aligned center so there we go and uh, I showed this in the in my other class uh, to do the habit tracker uh, but um, I will uh, explain it here uh, as well just in case you haven't done that class so what you need to do you want to align this text with a box because um, you could simply just uh, use the alt key and the shift and then drag it to make a copy and then control D so it's not too bad but sometimes it wouldn't be aligned properly so some of these are not aligned correctly so to make sure that they do align correctly I I do this little trick here so you click on the box then click on the hold down the shift key and click on the text and then let go of the shift key and click on the box again and you will have this uh, blue sort of highlights here this blue box and then you go to align horizontal align center and click it and you will align it perfectly with your box and actually before you do this if you want to change the font uh, I'm not going to change it but if you want to change the font you should do that now because otherwise you will have to redo everything again so now that we've done this I'm going to click on one of the boxes and check uh, the width of, of the box uh, because they're not exactly square so you uh, copy this so control C and we will need the number when we move this across so select the text right click and transform and move and in here we paste uh, that number that we copied in the horizontal then uh, vertical is zero and then we copy it and now we can do Control D to repeat the days. And now we can change it to the actual days of the week. All right, so we have the days now. And if you want, you can uh, add a little line here to separate the days. So we go to either here the icon and you have to click it and press it for one or two seconds and this will come up and then you choose the segment tool so we just go let's do a bit bigger and click and drag it up and if you hold the shift key it will do 
a straight line. Okay, and now we can click and drag it and uh, hold down the Alt key and the Shift key. And now we can do the Control D to repeat uh, the action. And we have uh, this nice uh, structure now. And the next thing we need to add is that little square. If you want to uh, add this, um, these squares for the day, you can just write the day without the squares if you prefer. But if you want, I'm going to go to the rectangle tool or just click uh, M on your keyboard or rather press M on your keyboard and uh, if you hold down the shift key it will make uh, a perfect square and I, I will align it here and of course you can put it oops <laughs> you can uh, put it on this side if you prefer I quite like it on this side and then what I do is I just uh, click hold down the alt key and the shift key and make a, a copy and then control D to make copies all, uh, all across. And if you want to add the drop shadow, make sure it's, um, the square has a filling, so as a fill of white, uh, because otherwise the drop shadow will not work like it did here. Okay, and then if you hold down the shift key, you can select all of the little squares. And then with alt key, pressed and the shift, you click and drag and then control D and there we go. We have the spaces for the numbers now, for the dates. And if you want to add the drop shadow, you select your square, you go to effect and stylize and drop shadow. And as you can see, it's already put uh, something here so you can play with the settings you can uh, make it sort of less opaque or more opaque you can move where the shadow is so you can put it on this side or on that side and also if it's coming like from the top or from the bottom and uh, how blurry it is so you can make it really blurry or you know quite dark and when you're happy with it you can just press OK and if you want to apply the drop shadow to all of them you can just um, select all of the squares I'm just going to select these ones for now and again effect uh, stylize drop shadow and it will keep the latest settings that you used so we just say OK and you have a drop shadow on all of them and this is basically the simple uh, planner page, the simplest version that you can do. And uh, the next one, we're going to do uh, a little bit uh, more complicated version. So, but uh, it's, it's actually not difficult to do. So I will show you this in the next lesson. I'll see you there.